Uh, Prime Minister, the EU, uh, the Japanese government, businesses are all asking for more clarity about your Brexit aims. They want details. You've come all this way to Japan. What more are you going to be able to say this week? Well, I'm going to be talking to uh, my Japanese counterpart, Prime Minister Abe, this week about the future relationship between the United Kingdom and Japan, about how we can build on what is already a good, strong relationship, but build on that in the areas of security, defence and, yes, trade, and look to the arrangements that we can put in place when we've left the European Union. But as regards the details of our aims for the European Union and, and our relationship with them in the future, we've been publishing a series of papers over the summer. There will be more papers to come where we're setting out the key issues that both sides need to address and the options that we have, the ideas we have of how to deal with those. It's the United Kingdom that's been coming forward with the ideas and with the clarity about the future. It's clear that Japan does not want Britain to crash out of the EU in March 2019. And over the summer, the Chancellor and your Trade Secretary both said that Britain needs a transitional arrangement with the EU. Do you still think that no deal is better than a bad deal? We could still walk away. Yes, I think that is right. But if you talk about the point at which we leave the European Union, we want to ensure that at that point we do have a deal and that we have a deal that is the right deal for the United Kingdom. And I said back in January in my speech in Lancaster House that one of the things we wanted to ensure was a smooth uh, uh, changeover from the membership of the European Union to the future arrangements and that we would need to have a period of time to implement any practical changes that needed to take place. And how long might that transitional arrangement last? And could it mean staying inside the single market, the EEA and the customs union, as Labour now say Britain should do? Well, of course, what we see from the Labour Party is yet another position from them in relation to the European Union. And as we've also seen, not a position that is welcomed by all members of the Labour Party. But if we look at what we're talking about, we're talking about negotiating a deal uh, with the European Union within their two-year timescale, a deal that is right for the United Kingdom but also right for the European Union, that develops a deep and special partnership between the UK and the remaining 27 members of the European Union, and that in order to ensure that businesses and individuals don't face that cliff edge, that we do see a smooth, uh, a smooth path from the existing relationship to the future relationship, we will be, as part of the negotiations, looking at how we practically implement any changes. And do you rule out, as Labour is suggesting, remaining in the single market and the customs union for that transitional period? Well, what I've set out in my Lancaster House speech is that you can't be a member of the single market uh, without being a member of the European Union, and we're leaving the European Union. Well, you can join Union. the EEA. That's, Labour, to, that's Labour's suggestion. What we want to do is to ensure that we deliver on the vote of the British people to leave the European Union, that while we do that, we're also looking to the future. This isn't just about Brexit. It's about ensuring we get that deal right, but it's about an optimistic future for the United Kingdom. And that's about not just the trade deal with the European Union, but trade deals around the rest of the world. And that's one of the things I'm going to be discussing here in Japan. Japan is a long-standing partner of the United Kingdom. Significant investments from the UK into Japan and from Japan into the United Kingdom. We've seen SoftBank, Nissan, Toyota investing in the UK since the referendum vote took place. As part of the, uh, the, the visit here today, £500 million Aston Martin deal. These are important developments for our economy and for the relationship with Japan. North Korea clearly is a, a pressing crisis here, here in Japan. During your discussions this week, what more will you be able to say about Britain's possible role in, in resolving this crisis? Well, I want to work with Prime Minister Abe, to work with other international partners to do what we all want to do, which is to stop North Korea from conducting these illegal activities. These are illegal tests and it is outrageous, it is provocation and they should be stopping them. We will be working, there's been a discussion in the United Nations Security Council, and I'm pleased that there was a united condemnation of North Korea from the United Nations Security Council. But we want to work with international partners to see what further pressure can be brought on North Korea, and of course particularly look at what China can do to bring pressure on North Korea.